Hey guys and welcome back to the Cheetah. In this video, we're going to analyze vibrations in a composite beam. First, we need to model the beam in Abacus. Let's move on to part module. Click part, click manager, and then click create. The part is 3D deformable, shape is solid, and type is extrusion. Click continue and then close. Let's create the cross section as a rectangle with the size of 1 by 1. We're going to give the beam a length of 4 meters. Now, as soon as you click done, it will ask you for the length of it, shown as depth, which is 4 meters. Click OK. Now we want to create a composite beam which has multiple layers. So, let's click on Offset Faces. Now it's asking to select faces to offset. So click the top face. Let's assume that we're going to have two layers. So click Done. Distance is 0.5 or half of the cross section. Click OK. Click Done. Now let's move on to Property Module. Click on Material, click on Manager, click on Create, under General, then Density. Please note that the numbers that we are going to solve this example are imaginary numbers and they are not specific to a given material. In a real world problem, you need to enter the correct mass density. Here we are going to assume a density of 2200. Now click on Mechanical, Elasticity and then Elastic. Since we are dealing with a composite material, the type is not isotropic anymore. We need to select engineering constants. Now the Young's modulus along direction 1 or X is assumed to be 9000. In direction 2 or Y is again 9000. And in direction 3 or Z, we're going to assume 6000. For Poisson ratio, we're going with 0.3 for direction 1 and 2 and so on and so forth. We also need to define the shear modulus, like so. Click OK. As always, let's assign the material. Leave the material as solid and homogeneous. Now, first select the top layer, and we need to repeat the process for the bottom layer as well. For the material, we need to define how the strains of material are oriented inside each layer. Let's assume the top layer has a 0 degree angle along Z and the bottom layer has a 90 degree angle along Z. We need to create a data point. The type is rectangular, click OK and we will select the middle point. Now it's asking us to show the X direction, so we're going to select this corner and let's click on create datum and then close. Now we have a new coordinate system that is created locally. We're going to define the material strain orientation inside each layer. Let's select assign material orientation. We're going to select the top layer. Now we're going to click on datum CSIS list and then select the coordinate system that we just defined. Click OK. Now under additional rotation direction, we need to define the direction that the strains of material are oriented. So we're going to move on with Z axis or axis 3. Let's click on angle and then enter 0. Click OK. We are going to repeat this process for the bottom layer, only to change the additional rotation to 90 degrees with axis 3. Click OK and then click Done. Now let's move on to Assembly Module. Click Instance, click Create, click OK and then move on to a Step Module. Click on a Step, click on Manager, click Create and then change Procedure Type to Linear Perturbation and select Frequency. Click Continue. The number of eigenvalues we're going to analyze here is 5 and then click OK and Close. Now we're going to move on to Load Module. Click BC, click 
create, now we're going to assume that the two ends of this beam are fixed. So we'll leave the category as mechanical and type as displacement. And then we're going to select all faces at the two ends and click done. Now we're going to select all displacements and orientation and click OK. Now we're going to move on to mesh module. It is important to note that the size and type of mesh in analyzing this type of problems makes a very big difference in the solution and answers you're going to get. Just for demonstration in this example, we're going to select a larger size mesh to show you how to analyze this type of problems. However, for a real world problem, you want to adjust these values to get a more precise answer. Now we're going to click on mesh, click on element type, we're going to go with linear, However, better is to go with quadratic if analyzing a real world problem. Keep that in mind. Now we're going to go with seed, click instance. We're going to go with 0.2. For a better result, it's good to go with a smaller number if you have a stronger system. Click yes and part is meshed as seen. As always, we need to move on to job module. Click create. Now let's give it a name. Let's go with vibration composite or whip comp. Click continue, click OK, click submit, and we have to wait. The status is now changed to complete. Let's click on results and similar to previous video, you can see the frequency is really low. So if we adjust our meshes, we should be able to get a better result. As always, you can try to take a look at the animation and then also look at other frequencies. We have five in total. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for future videos. See you guys next time.